Welcome uh, everyone, we are the Grin Brothers and we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Shante Half Genie Heroes DLC Officer Mode. Hopefully with functioning Joy-Cons this time. Although it will make oh, it wait, a I whole lot that. less amusing. Sorry, read it off there. Come in headquarters! Oh, I get to be depressed mimic again. Yeah, depressed. When I'm actually alive and could do mimics voice. Yeah, for yeah. Me. Oh, HQ here. I've received a hot tip about an illegal street race at this location. This was illegal? I guess. I thought Could be space hooligans. I, I thought, thought this was legit. I thought it was as well. There were tickets sold for it and everything. Can we buy it off the black market? Oh, how can that be? There is no street in that area. They think that by <coughs> holding a street race in the air, they can get above the law. <laughs> Does that count as a street race? <laughs> I'll see that justice is served. Well, originally the um, Fast and Furious movies were about street racing. No. Fast and Furious 1 was about street racing. Don't be ridiculous. And then <laughs> you can't... <laughs> okay, this sounds like a really cool idea here. With the Yeah. Using the block puzzles in a race. I mean, is it a race? Oh, they're all behind you now. Oh no. Let's hope things aren't lagging for you. I actually think this is actually really cool. Oh, oh gosh! Oh! Don't, okay, you okay. have to send No that. offense! That was warranted! That was, I thought that was a platform! That, that was bull! Like, <laughs> come on! <laughs> <laughs> like. No, that that was unfair. Most genuine that's been in a long time. Yeah, like, what the heck? Come on, game designers. I, no, okay, that was. Oh, oh, neat. The animation there looks cute too. It's the same one they've used before. And Shandy still looks cute. Surprising, isn't it? You deserve that. Apparently they're illegal now, so I guess it's okay. Of course. Ah! It's not the fact that I tried to shoot you. <laughs> I mean, you're technically a criminal, so... Yeah, technically you should be collecting everyone as you run into them. But no, apparently they're not part of your department, so... Oh, well. Oh, that's going to be weird if they have the Twitch and Vinegar boss battle section here when you just collected Twitch and Vinegar. Or Space Twitch and Vinegar. Space Royalty is having too much fun with this. Of course. <laughs> You're being arrested. Stop enjoying it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. What? Quiet dogs. I wonder if any criminals gone away over crime because the police officer just didn't want to arrest them. Like, just put the handcuffs on them and they just start enjoying it. It's like, nope, nope. Okay, you're free. Go. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting a boss fight. Yeah, it's Twitch and Vinegar. Okay. Hold it, space hooligans. Hey, girl. This is all you. Join the winning team. Yeah, we're racing for pink slips. What? I don't like that word. So that's your game. Wagering ownership papers instead of prize money. What? Is this slave trading? It could, well, we just went through, mer you know, people being dressed up as mermaids and then turned into tin tuna. Let's see, Rafi's out of the room, so I guess I'll talk about some Jump Force for a little bit. Not really anything to mention regarding that. Um, you know, they had the trailer for Yugi come out. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Figured out. Yeah, um, this is... So... Slave trade now. Twitch and Vinegar just stepped it up uh, a bit. Yeah, um, I mean yeah. not quite to techno Pe People were too busy. Evil. People were too busy waifuing over him. They need to become criminals to properly establish themselves. No, not pink slips as in paperwork. I forgot what voice I was doing for. Pink slips as in fabric. Oh, that's remember a stereotypical gay people. Yes, that was the voice. Oh, that silky fabric makes Evan Barrow not... brand flying cabbit super slick. That's not a gay voice, it's just white girl. <laughs> Are they different? Yes. Yes, actually. <laughs> to, to be fair, you're the one with, you know, 
Okay, I was going to say gay friends, but frankly, you're the only one here with friends, so that's kind of a broad thing to I, mention. I do know lesbians. I know how speech works. Oh, no, I didn't mean lesbians. I meant gay people. Gay men. Yeah, let's talk you know about gay get... men speak. Have you ever watched The Fifth Element? That is not what you should be basing <laughs> your gay people off of. I said stereotypical, not good. <laughs> Manila! <laughs> Shut up! Well, it's still an illegal wager that endangers the sin street. I'm taking you both in. Yeah, not the fact that they're piloting, you know, death machines. No way! I'm like half health for this. No Though to be fair, that's been you throughout most of this campaign. True. Um, so let's see. Uh, I guess speaking quickly there of waifus, um... And this is kind of weird how it kind of comes, uh, joins together. Um, so I was on Smashboards, and there have been a couple of articles on Smashboards. One which definitely uh, enters uh, territory that is like, hmm, well, I can't really mention this in Grim Brothers. It's kind of controversial. Um, but wow, they went down quick. Um, Ow. But the most recent article was actually about an entirely different game. Uh, have you ever heard of Icons Combat Arena? Probably. Um, it's a basically a melee styled game, you know, designed for Super Smash Bros. melee players with a free to play structure. So people that don't shower. And art that basically looks like it's popped out of League of Legends. Oh. Like you literally say some of the characters look just like League. Like they introduced a witch character recently, and there are some League of Legends characters which are just think they, they just look like they're from League of Legends, sort of thing. Ah, oh, darn it. So close. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier if I started off with the split shot, honestly. Yeah. Because I could actually avoid damage whilst hitting them instead of just standing in front of a machine gun to shoot. Yeah. Oh no, game over. What shame. Um. Guess I'll just continue from. But no, combat icons. Oh. Beginning. <laughs> icons Combat yeah, Arena. That wasn't a save point. Uh, which the company who makes the game, they're like an indie group called uh, Wait. In it. Called Wave Dashing. Um, or Wave Dashers. I wonder where they got inspired for that name. Um, they've had to lay off a bunch of staff and all that, and uh, they're still continuing development, but basically, you know, they're not doing too well financially, despite receiving uh, six million dollars from a bunch of different groups um, uh, recently, you know, including like Evo and heck. This is kind of sad saying it. Um, the Project M developers. You know, the people who make, you know, that fan mod thing for Smash Brothers was able to chip in money towards... <clears throat> is it glitching out again? It didn't jump. Is it? Is it again? Should I move my should I move my switch to the side a little bit? It might have just been me slipping up a bit. Could well be. I'm kind of tempted just to off myself and... I mean, you can if you want to. Just so I can get, I, I preferably want to get to Twitch and Vinegar with as much health as possible. I hope you really enjoy this uh, Sky Race here, folks. We're going to be on it for a while. Oh, we shouldn't. To be fair, you almost beat her last time. Yeah, it was pretty much there. Yeah. It's just because I started off with less health. Mm. Because I don't have full gems, I can't split shot. Yeah. Um... Meaning my battle method is stand in front of gun and shoot. Yeah, but Icons basically hasn't been doing too well, and uh, people on Smash Bros were discussing, you know, sort of reasons as to why they think it hasn't been doing too well. Um, I think the, there's an overall point that I think everyone's kind of really well established here. But the thing is, it lacks identity. Yeah. Its art style is that of League of Legends. Its game itself is basically just trying to be melee, to the point where the starting roster, the two characters are basically Captain Falcon and Marth. You know, in terms of their moveset, is pretty much, you know, one-to-one -one sort of thing. Oh. Um, you know, a lot of their, you know, they don't have their more unique characters within the starting roster, because, again, it's a free-to-play thing. So you have to buy their more unique characters. But, I mean, it just feels like... And at that, you know, it's a, you know, a platform fire that's usually a four-player sort of thing, and they've only got two characters in the starting roster. And you have to buy the others. Yeah. Mm. Um, they do not have, like, a rotation thing going. No, I don't think they do. Um, I think they allow, when a new character is released, they uh, were allowing them to be played for a while, for free. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's just the two characters. Um, 
doesn't sound like. But yeah, the general consensus is, uh, you know I got from the thing is its problem is lack of identity. Uh, it's trying too hard to be melee, whereas the other, like the other platformer fighters that are doing well. Well, really, there's only one platform of fire. Aether. Yeah, the only, there's really only one which is doing really well, and that's Rivals of Aether. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's because it doesn't feel like it's trying to be Smash Bros. in the slightest. No. It actually looks really fun. And, and you know, it, it, it was oh, doing... And, heck, it was doing well before they got, you know, cool exclusive characters like Ori and as such. And I would say Shovel Knight, but he's hardly exclusive to anything. Because I uh, just about to say, uh, Shovel Knight is in not only Rivals of Aether... But he's also popping up in another platform fire, Brawlhalla. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard of Brawlhalla. Which, no offence, Shovel Knight doesn't seem that exciting of a guest fire, particularly when Brawlhalla is also getting Rayman as a guest fire in it. Ooh. Uh, because Ubisoft publishes the game. Ah. So they're putting in their um, characters into it now. That's fair. Which is really cool. I, I hope they don't, don't just stick to Rayman, they just go crazy with it. Like, Sam Fisher is the next playable character in Brawlhalla, sort of thing. Because, uh... Um, and the other platform fire here get talked about is Slap City. Uh, Killed them. Which Slap City honestly kind of looks, you know, what I've got from its impression is it's kind of a so bad it's good sort of thing. I've seen Alfred play that. Yeah, it's it's It's, it's like, the one with the duck dude yeah. that flexes on you and if you put him onto a Joel's dad difficulty yeah. you're just dead. Yeah, it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> also nice difficulty is Joel's dad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know who you are, but... Yeah, it. it I assume doesn't, you've beaten someone. It doesn't look pretty, but that ironically makes it look better. Yeah, it stands it, out. It looks. It kind of looks like you'd play it on the N sixty four. It reminds me of Super Smash Bros. on the N sixty four. It looks something. like a Flash game. Yeah, but and that's got a lot of charm and to it. It's, it feels so much looser. Like the, you go, <laughs> you like with the. I mean, just from the dumbbell thing, you go flying. Yeah, sort of thing. And I think that you know, it feels crazier. Which yeah. I think has much more of a fun factor to it than, of course, kind of the problem with uh, icons. I can clearly see it's trying to be competitive from the outset before being, I guess yeah. you could say, I, I wouldn't say it's not the same thing, but fun. Like, I do think competitive can be fun sort of thing, but I mean... You need to focus on gameplay as a priority it, rather than making it competitive. Yeah. If the game's not enjoyable, it's not going to be competitive. Like, games which are designed from the offset to be competitive usually don't do that well. Like, it took a long time for Street Fighter Five to start doing well. For Honor's a good example. That game was built to be competitive straight away. Hmm. It looked like it had a lot of fun to it, but, you know, potential to it, but... You know, it never really caught on, it didn't did it? Off. Because people knew it was trying to be competitive, and it just made it a bit of a drag. Come on! I mean, ironically, one of the games which... Uh, would you say Overwatch tried to? I mean, it doesn't really have a story mode or anything to it. Um, it's purely focused on its online gameplay against other people. Yeah, technically speaking, it did. Um, I mean, it's a Blizzard game. It just tried to be a Blizzard game. Which, um, but speaking of... It was, there was one person who was coming up with uh, some interesting sort of things to mention. Um, you know, like, it was interesting. One person sort of like uh, was uh, sort of saying, oh, they were trying to go for a blatant diversity thing with this one character. Um, you know, because the Captain Falcon inspired character is this sort of, uh, it basically summed it up. It's, it's Captain Falcon's moveset if you had it given to Farja. I'm all right with that. Um, which, uh, you know, like... Uh, he said, the, and before you call me racist for saying, you know, how I think it just kind of feels like kind of token diversity sort of thing, my problem is more the, it, you know, I've had a problem with a similar game where they kind of gave a moveset that didn't really match up with the character's design sort of thing, and the Captain Falcon's moveset is all... What are you, you vibrating know, for? Is all, uh, what was it, token Sentai sort of inspired? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I wasn't. You know, it's all Sentai inspired, so the person doesn't feel it matches with the design they then get, gave the character. Yeah. I don't think that's really a problem, but... Ultimately, um, th their point against the game was art style. Um, yeah, that's and, fair. And they felt the League of Legends art style didn't really have enough grab to it, and the character designs weren't quite as uh, grabbing. I think they they ultimately ended up summing their point. You know, they didn't purely have it as a point, but they ultimately summed up their point with saying, effectively, waifu sell, sort of thing. 
Um, but the characters, you know, you know, the sort of sex cell sort of yeah. thing was that sort of thing. You know, like, like you think Blizzard weren't realizing what they were doing with their characters? No, they were quite aware sort of thing. Oh yeah, one hundred. You know, and you know that worked for them. Yeah. Come on, I gotta be able to make this jump. Cause okay, oh, I deserve yeah. that. Yeah. You, you were getting impatient, but understandably it's been well. But which I can, I kind of like. I don't think the art style was the overall problem. I think, you know, uh, I think, again, probably design was more so. Um, um, although then again, it's, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't think it's purely the waifu sort of problem, as it were, because Rivals of Aether has no waifus, and it does really well. Yeah. But I can see where the problem might be in, you know, the oh. problem with art... St oh my god! Damn it! It didn't jump! <laughs> the problem with art style is purely, once again, lack of identity. Um, like, Rivals of Vapor gives itself more identity through its art style. Yeah. Um, at that note, it's a pixel-based art style, but it doesn't feel Nez pixel. Yeah. Which is my problem with a lot of art, the pixel art styles. They just are purely Nez pixel. You did it once, so it's possible. It is possible. Um, so, and, you know, I could see how Waifu may help. Waifu does help. You know, having the characters with more prettiness to them, but you know, again, it's purely the identity thing. Like, there's a lot of Korean MMOs and such, which and all that, which you know, you have all the sort of uh, you know, they're clearly done to with a sex appeal sort of focus, yeah. which don't do too well because it's you know, they all kind of blend together. Yeah, they do all look. You know, I mean, I guess you. Could, I, guess, I guess that could be a direction for another. Platform fire style game. Here's your platform fire Big game. Big titty girl. Yeah, of waifus. But um. <gasps> ah! How do you? It can be done. Yeah, it can be done. It must be able to be done. We should probably test it. Can it be done? Well, it must be. Well, maybe you're thinking of a different way to go about it, though. But, but you've only got run, jump, and shoot. Yeah, I'm kind of limited on my button options. Um, but it was an interesting thing sort of bringing up the subject as to whether the game could have done better if it had white boots, basically. Um, but, you know, like, and the person brought up... Okay, I can. I can. That's okay. fine. Okay, so uh, the one time you did it and... Uh, I hope you guys like this screen. We'll cause... end the episode when you caught the space of the gun. <sighs> wow, first 50 minute episode. Well, aside from the Uncle Country Tropical Freeze. Don't remind me. Um, Never remind me. But yeah, um, yeah, Icons isn't doing too well and, you know, can I... for oh, a variety well. of reasons, but it's not down and out. I'm sorry, I need to okay. turn that off. You know, it's not it's not down and out sort of thing. You know, it's uh you know, the company hasn't closed. It's not like um uh Telltale Games recently which have closed down. Oh yeah, that was a fun one. <laughs> people have lost their jobs, that was a fun one <laughs> I meant more in like people getting like oh it's... emotional about it sort of thing. Yeah, it's like, well, they didn't make good games, so it doesn't matter. Hooray! And that's where we're going to end the episode. I'm also glad you completely breathed over the fact that I said Telltale Games so. <laughs> oh, We can talk about that next time because I am in agreement. Cool. Cheers, everyone. See ya.